going on, guys? Got uh, some little tweaks on Paizo tweeters. Uh, one of them, the first one I'll show you, is one that I actually got from a guy on YouTube. And uh, he, put some, he put something else on, but I tried uh, silicone, RTV silicone. And uh, put a little bit of silicone on, I put it on each side. I did try just one side, and I found that both sides work a little bit better. You put a little bit of silicone on the rim of it, and it gets rid of some of the ring. And uh, it's not so, uh, uh, I don't know, every once in a while you hear like a little clip that kind of just makes you want to cringe. Kind of helps with that. And then another one, which I was just thinking about one day, is like... Uh, uh, like your microwave oven has a screen in the door and the purpose of the screen is to cut the frequency of the microwave so that the rays you know coming out of the front of it's not harmful um, I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed thing you know I, I wouldn't uh, put your face in front of the microwave but it's that's what it's intended to do is to cut the frequency and Another uh, example would be um, in the inside of a muffler of a car. Um, it gets channeled through, you know, it goes through, you know, an opening, and it has to go through a screen. And that screen will cut the frequency, and then usually that'll have to go through another channel with another screen. And the more screens you put in, um, the more it you know, cuts the frequency and makes it so it's quiet. Now one of the things about piezos is kind of annoying is uh, how high pitched they are and lack a certain amount of mid range and these ones here have you know do offer a lot of mid range but the high pitch is so prominent that it kind of you, you're trying to adjust I don't have an equalizer. Uh, when I have the computer hooked up, it has an equalizer, which I can bump up to mid-range. And But uh, with the MP3 player, I don't. And then the stereo just has bass and treble adjustments. And I can't seem to get, you know, you know the mid-range up there, you know, and having cut the uh, top end off some. So, what I came up with is a piece of toilet paper. Uh, this is a piece of Charmin which is, you know, kind of thicker. I believe that's what it is. Um, maybe if I was to use a piece of Angel Soft, I might want to double it over and try that, but... Um, same thing here. It has to, you know, the sound has to go through this. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be cutting some of the frequency. And I found that it's probably affecting my mid-range some, but, you know, definitely. But it's not so, they're not so loud and, you know, overpowering, you know, the, the rest of the components. But, you know, these are, you know, these threads on this thing are tapered. So this works out really well. Oh, just lost it. You want to stick it in there first, you know, so because it, it'll just tear it. But you get it down in there as deep as it's going to need to be. Threads in there real nice. And then you just, you see this in, in, the, in the front of it. But I found, I, I just jammed a few songs with it stuck in there. And I will, I'll make a video and kind of share this a little bit. You can try it out. Uh, some uh, piezos might be a little hard to do because, you know, like say if it's, you know, a self-contained unit, you know, you can't, you know, figure out a way to put this on top of it, but... If you have these screw-in deals. Um, another thing I kind of noticed too doesn't have anything to do with you know tweaking these or anything. But um, the bigger these these discs are, kind of the better the sound I get out of them. Um, more mid-range. Um, these ones here actually came from Parts Express, and they're like I don't know how you your shipping choices and things like that. I got four of them for $27 and that was shipped and everything. 
uh, I did get some on eBay, and I burnt them out really quickly. These ones here, you, I, you, actually, I don't ever burn them up. My uncle comes out and burns them up. He comes out and blasts the stereo when I come back and find my tweeters burned up. <laughs> but uh, This is a 27mm disc. And this is from Parts Express, and the ones on eBay, so far the ones I got on there was 22 millimeter, and they was cheaper a little bit, but you know, for just a couple of bucks more, you can you know get something that has a little bit better, more wider range. All right, well, hope I help somebody with. Uh, I, I I like piezos in a way because. Oh, they're cheap, and every time I buy a coiled, you know, a coiled, uh, a tweeter with a coil and a magnet, it, you pay a lot of money for them, you know, usually at least 50 a piece to get something that's halfway decent, and, you know, they burn up inevitably, and, you know, it's 50 bucks. You know, with these guys here, and I'm actually going to start thinking about actually trying to replace these. On eBay, I can get like a pack of 50 of them for $12 or something, and you just glue the disc in and resolder the wires. I'm not sure, you know, maybe I'll make an update on how they sound or anything, but they're advertised as pickups, like you know, like if you, you put them in front of a drum and I don't know, run them through some kind of moderate circuitry to you know, then hook it to a, a mic connection. But, uh, you know, once I buy those and solder some in, we'll see how they sound. All right, well, thanks for watching.